let's hear from Abhijit on all the different states wooing Elon Musk and also where the central government's stand is. So, hello Abhijit, Vail Vail Vettri Vail. Vail Vail Vettri Vail, Jai Bole Baba Ki Har Har Mahadev. All right, here we go. Let's start with the uh, wooing of various states to get Elon Musk to establish his production, his manufacturing line in their state. Starting with Navjot Singh Sidhu. He says, I invite Elon Musk. Punjab model will create Ludhiana as hub for electric vehicles and battery industry with time bound, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Why is he confusing electric vehicle with a mechanical vehicle? Ludhiana makes good spare parts. Right. Now, see, here's the problem with all of this. Uh, you know, Anandra, Anand Mahindra tweeted an a image. Uh, it says, Tamil is such an energy efficient language. In English, you say, I'm afraid I don't have the time or inclination to listen to your explanation and understand your point of view. Would really appreciate if you'd please leave me alone. In Tamil, you simply say, Pora day. So this is one of those Pora Day moments <laughs> where, you know, I mean, it's just the sheer audacity of this man. Okay. You look at Punjab. It's a state that missed the last and most powerful wave of industrialization we had following the 1991 reforms, mostly because it was recovering from all the terrorism. There was still terrorism going on. Remember, I think it was in 1996 that Bayant Singh got assassinated. Yes. Um, so, you know, it, it was still an active terrorism state. Then the entire power clique as now is focused on these landlords who basically live off these so-called agricultural subsidies. Okay. They're not agricultural subsidies. They're landlord subsidies. Okay. To uh, uh, subsidize a certain lifestyle. Third, they are living on an economic model, uh, on an agricultural model which is going to destroy their water tables in the next five to 10 years, somewhere between the eucalyptus trees and the rice farming in an area that was never meant to do rice farming. They're destroying their water tables. So it's unindustrialized. It is a uh, 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 economic wasteland for any uh, 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 sidewards opportunities and synergies to happen. It's far from the sea, so you can't supply much uh, really. It's also an economic, an environmental disaster. Now, where in the scheme of things did Sidhu think that uh, this man was going to invest out there? It doesn't tick off the industrial ticks. It doesn't tick off the environmental ticks. What exactly is Sidhu offering in this case? Well, his imagination, I guess. Let's take a look at the next I one. Guess. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, from KTR, Telangana. Hey, Elon, I am the Industry and Commerce Minister of Telangana State in India. We'll be happy to partner Tesla in working through the challenges to set shop in India, Telangana. Our state is a champion in sustainability initiatives and a top-notch business destination in India. Telangana has got a few things right, but I'll let you weigh in. Telangana does have a few things right. The issue again remains, how is the supply? Because, you know, not the entire Tesla can be made here parts of the Tesla will have to be imported. Why are they going to import it from so far away out to sea? See, there's a reason most of the automotive manufacturing is done in Tamil Nadu because you've got direct access from Madras port and Tutukoran port. What does Telangana have in terms of a sea? And you know, sea supply is the quickest supply. See, for microchips and things like that, air supply is the main thing. But for sea supply, uh, for heavier things like car, it's a sea supply that's the most important to transport at any reasonable level of bulk. How are you going to do that? Especially in this case, the batteries will have to be made in China and brought from there. How are you going to do it? Because everything isn't going to be made from India, I've been assured. You know, ultimately, it's will they find a market? If they find a market, then they slowly start expanding the manufacturing base here, etc., etc., etc. I don't see it adding up. Next question. Uh, next one, please. West Bengal, Muhammad, Guba, uh, Muhammad Gulam Rabani. Drop here. We in West Bengal have best infra and our leader, Mamta official, has got the vision. Bengal means business. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to use a different word, which also starts with B. Uh, the second letter is U. 
look the, the, the joke in all of this is mamta won par on the basis of kicking the tata nano plant out this is the joke of it all yaar i mean you know it's almost like hitler saying open to business all jews welcome where i mean you literally have no business at home you literally came to power on the basis of kicking an automotive industry out where are you going to acquire the land first show us what prowess you have in acquiring land wo to karoge nahi to this is such a joke man like seriously and next one please and now we have maharashtra uh maharashtra is one of the uh, you you pull it away please can you put it back yeah maharashtra is one of the most progressive states in india we will provide you all the necessary help from maharashtra for you to get established in india we invite you to establish your manufacturing plant in maharashtra so he got everything right maharashtra can actually work really well for uh, tesla except the poor man didn't know how to pitch it to elon who's the most uh, Anti woke, anti progressive type around. He detests all this wokery. So when they're saying one, they're one of the most progressive states in the very first line. You've literally lost the sales pitch out there. It's like again, it's like going to Hitler and saying, "I have a proposition for you. It's going to mostly employ Jews. Yay!" Well, interesting. Let's wait and see what happens. In the meantime, the the real reason. why elon musk is saying that he is facing facing challenges is a tweet from uh, another very respected journalist can you put that up please all right so um i guess we we we're having some technical difficulties i'll give the answer siddharth zarabi has said that uh, elon musk is trying to apply pressure on the government via social media here it comes it's coming out there you go indian government rejects tesla's claims uh, tesla founder claim that uh, challenges are there government sources say that musk is once again trying to put pressure on the government via social media officials reveal tesla wants india to reduce import duties on cars without any commitment of producing in india so basically what i think he's trying to sell is initially i'll just import teslas and then maybe i'll start manufacturing a bit looks like that's what it's uh, trending uh, any but, any but thoughts look, on this that's, that's yeah. that look 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 this is perfectly natural why why should he uh, you know uh, 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 bring all his shops to india without having some kind of a market commitment i think it's prudent business to first bring in completely uh, built units okay Uh, or at least assemble them here. Just set up an assembly line here. Uh, so, I think that's exactly what they want to do: set up an assembly line, not a manufacturing line out here, which is fine. And then, as things go along, as the market progresses, you start mainstreaming and creating more of the subcomponents out here. Remember, India is an extremely inefficient market. What we gain in terms of cheap labor, we lose in terms of regulatory compliance. uh changes in laws every now and then extortion tax this that etc 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 right so it's 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 uh, uh, the government is doing what it does elon musk is doing what he does it's that's a it's a normal bargaining it's a normal business bargaining and negotiating position 